In this video, I'm gonna show you a custom Stranger Things PC that I painted in a photorealistic style. What makes this computer so unique is that it actually belongs to one of the actors from Stranger Things. And I'll share with you a little bit of how I created this artwork. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you the finished painting and which actor from Stranger Things owns this computer. So the guys at Overkill Computers are the ones who built this computer. They called me telling me that they want to create the most insane Stranger Things custom PC for one of the members from the Stranger Things show. You know, these guys are not a joke. They're used to building the most insane computers for their clients. So of course, I couldn't say no to an opportunity like this. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity they gave me to create this artwork. And I'm really happy to be working with this team these guys are all amazing people, they're respectful, professional, and they're funny as heck. So I was talking with them and going through a whole lot of different ideas until we found one that we really liked. So it was time for me to get serious and get back to the studio and start working on this thing. Back in the studio, I get to start working on the digital designs for this computer. Usually a project has one main design. This one had two very difficult designs, but it is important before jumping into painting to have a very solid plan so that the painting is successful. In this designing process is where I get to move the character around and make it according to how it works for the final piece. Using several of Vecna's images, I get to create a unique Vecna for this project. This computer is vertical, so for that reason, I needed to create a version of Vecna that is taller. I also start creating another design for the side of the computer with this creepy house. This is made up of so many different images as well, but I still do a lot of coloring, a lot of color editing so that I never lose that Stranger Things feel throughout the painting. Making sure these designs are perfect, it's important because from here, I would also create an HD stencil from HDStencils.com. The HD stencils are special because instead of me having to draw everything with a pencil, I can just spray through the stencil and I get an almost instant mapping of the entire image. Now is the time to start doing the painting. Creating this first painting for Stranger Things was not an easy task because there is so much detail on this thing that is just mind-boggling. Painting this really put my skills to the test. I had to use every single technique and trick under my sleeve to make this happen. Matching every color for the sky, the house, the trees and everything else was extremely important so that I could truly capture the essence and feel of the show. What makes this painting essential that I captured it right is that it sets the environment for the main subject that I'll be painting in the front later. And that is the challenge when creating multiple paintings in a single artwork. The challenge is that if it's not executed correctly, the different paintings can look disconnected and don't bring the whole entire theme together as a cohesive artwork. So it's important that this haunted house looks as part of the entire artwork and if I don't pay attention to the colors and textures and the way this feels, then this painting could feel disconnected from the rest of the artwork that will come later. It's not just starting to paint, but the trick is actually to have a clear goal in mind and that you know where you're heading so that at the end, everything comes as part of the same piece. So 
So if you also have that desire to paint realistically, you might be wondering if you have the talent to paint realism. The reality is that you don't need a talent to paint realism. There's only three things that you need. The first one is you need desire. Second one, you need the right classes. And third, practice, of course. If you want to learn how to paint realism like me, you can find my online courses at paintrealism.com. I will teach you the fundamentals of realism and all the techniques that I know to paint realism in acrylics, airbrush, and oils. This creature is a nightmare, not only in the show, but it's also a nightmare to paint it. Vecna here is the focal point of this entire artwork, and every other painting around this computer is to bring focus to this character. As a finished painting, no doubt this monster is scary as hell, but I'm going to share with you a little bit of my thinking while painting this. Since Vecna is surrounded by a lot of dark background, I could have left the background just a simple dark color, but instead I took it as an opportunity to create a lot of almost imperceptible details so that people looking at it feel simultaneously attracted and repelled by this painting. The idea was that the subtle details require the viewer to get really close to the painting, but at the same time they feel uncomfortable being so close to this sinister creature. I think that when you create artwork, you need to have intention in what you do. There is so much visual textures going on everywhere on this main piece, and I didn't want to hold back anywhere on this. I must confess that I got into a perfectionist mode while painting this, which doesn't come cheap, but the guys at Overkill Computers knew that and didn't want to hold back either. All of us were fully committed that this had to be not just good enough, but it had to be the very best for the actor who gets the computer. When this artwork was completed, Overkill Computers continued to add all the components and made this a very powerful computer. They even added a water cooling system to it. They were going to send this computer to one of the cast members from Stranger Things, but the problem was that all the cast members are amazing, so it was really hard to choose one. The awesome way that Overkill Computers did was to send it to the first cast member that left a comment in the computer's video. This way, it will be fair for all the cast members. The really awesome thing was that David Harbour, also known as Jim Hopper, he left the first comment and he was super excited that he got the computer. And the fact that he was so happy with the computer and even shared it on his social media made this experience of creating this whole project extremely rewarding for us. You know, as an artist, I have such a great feeling that David Harbour someone that I admire and respect, appreciates the painting and all the work that went into making this custom computer. I am extremely honored that David Harbour owns one of my artworks. Needless to say, I feel super thankful that I got the opportunity to be part of this one-of-a-kind build.